All right, in this video, we've got a quadratic equation written in what's called vertex form, and we're being asked to convert it into standard form. Standard form looks like y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. You should already know that by now if you're being asked to do this. And we can do it in three easy steps. Let's break it down and get started. Okay, step one, you need to expand the square. That would be x minus h squared when it's in vertex form. You see it right here. We'll need to expand that. After that, we're going to distribute a. a is this term in front. It'll need to distribute to the parts that we get. And then after that, we'll finish it by combining like terms. And if you follow these one, two, three easy steps, we'll have exactly what we need. Let me show you what, how to do it. Expand x minus h squared, that's x plus 1 squared, which would be x plus 1 times itself. We still have 3 in the front. We still have minus 6 at the end. But what we did is took this operation and expanded it out. Now, the FOIL method shows us that x times x gives me x squared. x times 1 is going to give me 1x. 1 times x is going to give me another 1x. And 1 times 1 is going to give me 1 at the end, these two are going to combine together, so I now have x squared plus 2x plus 1 all inside with 3 on the outside. Still got that minus 6 on the end. Now we need to distribute. So notice I've expanded, foiled it out, combined these like terms. I now have this trinomial. It's time for us to now distribute A to one, two, three different terms in the trinomial. Three times x squared is three x squared. Three times two x is gonna give you six x. Three times one is gonna give you three. Minus six at the end. Three minus six is negative three. So our final result is y equals three x squared plus 6x, 3 minus 6 is negative 3. Study hard, and good luck on your upcoming test.